Google Search Console structured that. What is it? How can we use it? Let's try and learn all this stuff. When you log into Search Console, under Search Appearance menu option, we have Structured Data. Now, before I progress through, recently Google has introduced Rich Cards, as well as Data Highlighter. These three links are all to do with Structured Data. So when you press on anything here, don't be thinking they are something different. Okay, they are still using structured data. Depending on the content management system that you're using, depending on the theme that you're using, you may see something different on this screen when you log in. In either case, your focus of attention should be items with errors. If anything, you don't want Google algorithms to see errors with your website. So therefore, if you're seeing any items with errors, work on them first, fix them first. And once you work that out, then you can confidently branch out to include more and more details about the structure of your website that search engines can understand. That means you provide the content for your visitors, that's the visual appearance of your site. But behind the scenes, the source code that search engines can understand, you can start using structured data because it is smart and logical. That's why search engines support it. Now, looking at this example, what I've just highlighted there, well, that's a blog post. So it's only logical then for, you know, if you have a blog portion of your site, then it's best to mark it up as a blog, because search engines understand this name. On sources here, we have schema.org, and we also have this micro format. Let's take a look. Schema.org, micro formats. Let's press on this schema.org markup type. Here, Let's press on this link as well. As you can see, what Search Console Structured Data features are showing us right now, it's saying this URL we have detected on this date and we have seen site navigation element item type and it had these details when we came across that block of HTML. And the others are the same. In this example, we are looking at site navigation element. Let's take a look at video object. Because I actually, you know, place a lot of YouTube video embeds as well as my own videos on Rank Your Blog, I actually created a video object plugin to assist me to mark up my videos on my site. So therefore, I can use video object because I do have videos. Now let's press on this link here. Search Console is saying to us, okay, on this URL, when we crawled at this date, we have seen a block and within that block, we have seen a markup called video object. So now the type of item is video object. The URL was this, which is a YouTube embed. Content URL is this, the name, description, upload date, date publish, and duration, and is it family friendly, thumbnail URL, all this stuff. Now, we've just seen date published, all this stuff, right? Let's press on H entry, and let's just select the same page. Now it's saying, you know what, this is the URL. And we've seen a title, content, date published, updated, maybe different information a little. But in either case, this is a different format. So, when you look at schema.org, when you look at micro formats, when you see the term JSONLD, 
just think of as a terminology, as encoding that you can use depending on your website. Because at times, schema.org vocabulary may be great to use. And in fact, you should focus on schema.org as I've suggested two or three years ago. Actually, over three years ago, I think, yeah. Because this one can be okay for blog entries, absolutely, why not? JSONLD is actually created, and Google is rather pushing it because it's easy. But sometimes easy doesn't mean the best. And the best is schema.org. And best for the success of your website is also JSONLD. Working together, you can really provide additional information about the structure of your website and take advantage of structured data officially supported by Google. Google's help section clearly suggests to use structured data. And if anything, in 2016 and beyond, particularly with the new introduction of rich cards, how can we not take advantage of this? Now, how can you take advantage of this? Much will depend on the content management system that you're using. Magento, there is a great plugin for Magento. For WordPress, I don't want to self promote here, but I have actually created a very powerful plugin. I'll actually show you that plugin here on the test site. <laughs> All right, it looks rather silly, but I'll just show you the power of this plugin. Because if you're using WordPress, then you're in luck because you can use structured data using my plugin. And look how easy it is. In a few clicks, you'll be able to add all the stuff that I've just been showing you. Including taking advantage of rich cards in 2016. How great is that? Now, this field can be complex if you're beginning. In either case, as I've said to you at the beginning, focus on items with errors. And work on them if you see any errors and then slowly you know whatever you do if you want to really you know get the edge on internet in search market scene as a search ranking scene then you definitely need to use this and as always rank your videos will definitely help your website to take advantage of this as well I'll be putting more content on Rank Your Blog and I'll talk with you in the next video session.